जननी शारदा देवी रामकृष्ण जगद्गु पादपद्मे तयो श्रिवा प्रणमा मुहुर्मु Master, God has covered all with His Maya. He does not let us know anything. Maya is woman and gold. Woman and gold. It is in this translation. It is actual terms used is kamini kanchana, that which creates desires. Kamini. Kamayati, kama creates desires and gold, kanchana. This is a literal translation of uh, uh, at gross level. All that is becomes a possession is gold. Uh, kanchana means anything that is. on which you have a hold and possession hmm. is called kanchana it can be your intellect you possess it you possess intellect he some a powerful intellect he can use anywhere it is like a money he can use it uh, beautiful body youth Uh, vehicles possessions other wealth all these come under uh, physical strength all these come under kanchana the sense of possessiveness do you think that it is mine i possess and nobody has a right or hold on it then it becomes the duty and responsibilities are different the mindness is what is going to create the sense of kanchana in it now i have a child the child i have i have responsibility to see that it ultimately stands on its own leg till then i bear the responsibility but to always claim that child become is mine and none else is that position what all helps its growth its becoming stable is welcome suppose a neighbor is ready to take that child and give some education which i am not able to give and it is harmless it is i may have to watch i may have to take but i cannot stop it from doing getting it done so the mind sense may stop all others to interfere in its growth and development our nature and god to act so here we see the necessity of mindless being given a care love concern everything will be there sense of mind is not there on wealth and positions including mind and intellect and body bodily strength is there oh this oh god yours 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 this body is yours the strength is yours the intelligence is the yours all that what i possess is yours of nature one day i have to part from all this i cannot claim it is mine how did you take it away body is going to fall off the time is acting it is going to become old and useless fall off so how can i say anything belongs to me here every bit i have to live and go i may hold the um, all government certificates and securities that it belongs to me but 
I will not, I myself won't be here. I have to part from it one day or other. To know it belongs to God forever and it is in my custody. I am a trustee. I am a responsible. God has given this to me according to my karma for a few days to take care of it and return back to nature and go. Every bit we have to offer it back. Be constantly aware this doesn't belong to me in heart of heart. Like a bank manager possessing crores of rupees in his chest. The currency chest contains so much of gold, this, that, everything. Nothing belongs to How much of care he takes. So many times he goes and sees whether he has properly locked it or not. It doesn't belong to him. But he takes care. Like that we have to take care of this world, all things that comes within my range of interaction. Not only what I possess alone, I live in a society. Society is may helping me to maintain my life in this earth. What are you going to give to this society in return? I never plowed a land to grow my food, nor I weaved a cloth to wear. Somebody has done. The money you pay is not a compensation. Hmm. Can you do the same thing and give to someone else? No. Then do something in return that they need. So, if nothing is possible, pray, offer love. That will do. At least before you take your food, just remember this word. Millions are fasting without food. Before you walk with pride freely, run about. Remember, many are bedridden. They are not able to move their body. So pray for them. Every bit, every moment, you must be conscious of the world around. God pervading it and your own puny existence which has to expand to the go beyond the limits of nature. Nature is binding. Unless you look at the vast universe in various aspects and repay its debt by remembering, by expressing your gratitude, you can't evolve, go beyond. So this is what actual worship constitutes. So if nothing is possible, just pray from a distance. O oh Lord, you have given me a morsel of food. Give to all those who are hungry on this earth and anywhere in this universe. That small prayer will release you from the bondage of nature because you have transcended all selfish limitations as you are growing. When you start praying for others, your heart is expanding. Your mind is become free. Uh, your love is reaching the remote person somewhere. Your prayers are listened by God and whom you have never seen nor will be seeing, he will be getting its benefit of your prayer. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Does it come from the heart of your hearts? Deep within, with tears, those prayers must come. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Then it has meaning and weightage which every soul will be receiving its grace. So here Sri Ramakrishna is telling the Maya, how the Maya is catching the term woman and gold. The woman and gold, any kind of desire. Uh, the moment we hear the term woman, we associated with the sexual tendencies or sexual desires. Apart from that, so many desires are possessing every moment. 
the five senses are there, mind is there, old tendencies are there. So they are all driving and we are running. And external world is prompting. Hmm. And the moment you run behind, it is evading and running forth. So there is no end. This is Maya. He puts, he who puts Maya aside to see God, what all is provided, what all is given in plenty, whatever you renounce, whatever you get rid of, it falls at your feet in multitudes. You want to give up something? It comes in torrents, limitless. And you have to remain unaffected by that. When it was not there, how did I not bother? When it comes also, I should not bother. This is putting Maya aside. Oh, when all things are there, God is my refuge. When all things have gone, God is my refuge. I have nothing to fear. I have nothing to worry. That kind of understanding, that kind of faith and dependence on God when all things are there. That is putting my aside. Once, when I was explaining God's action to someone, God suddenly showed me the lake at Kamar Pukur. He gets a vision. He is trying to explain God's action to someone. Telling, telling he is missing from the world. He is getting a vision. In the vision, he is seeing the Kamar Pukur. A man is drinking water. I saw a man removing green scum and drinking water. The water was clear as crystal. God revealed to me that Sachidananda is covered by scum of Maya. He, he who puts aside the green scum can drink water. How beautiful analogy you see is given. Hmm. Once when I was explaining God's action to someone, God suddenly showed me the lake at Kamar Pukur. I saw man removing the green scum and drinking water. The water was clear as crystal. God revealed to me that Sachidananda is covered by the scum of Maya. Sachidananda is covered by scum of Maya. He puts, just like in drinking water, the water is covered by scum and he just pushes aside and crystal clear water is below. He is drinking. The moment he gets up, all again come and cover the water. Fresh clean water. Hmm. God revealed to me, Sachidananda is covered by scum of Maya. He who puts aside green scum can drink water drink the pure water. Now, this is how I have to push aside the maya to see the anything. A screen is there, you have to put aside the screen. As we progress in our spiritual life, there will be spiritual unfoldment. To certain extent, there will be unfoldment. Each unfoldment is followed by a screen covering our own self dropping away. One more droppage and one more vision, one more dimension I am entering of the same nature, of the same world which I am seeing. It is a new understanding I get. From one loka, I am going to another loka as if. From lower truth to higher truth. 
This is also equally true. Go, go, swah, ma, jana, tapa, satyam. Whatever level of consciousness I enter, whatever level of chaitanya I enter, and see the same world in an entirely different way. Look at our sleeping. What is the difference between waking state and dream state? Same I, I am experiencing a world now. The moment I sleep, this total world disappears, never to be seen again. I am in a different dimension where this world and my this bodily existence is totally eliminated. I am in a different dimension. I am seeing a different world. I don't even know there is a waking state. To that much absence, I am carried away. From there to deep sleep, you see the difference. Like that, each higher level, when we wake up from dream, come back to this, we understand, I was in a level lower than what I am now. I have come to a higher level of consciousness. I have experienced that, but that world is not here now. When I go to dream state, this world is not there. When I come to waking state, dream world is not there. But when I come to this, I understand that is false. When I go from here, I don't know anything about it. Because a total veil comes down when I go to the lower level of consciousness. When I go to the higher level of consciousness, I understand the unreality of this lower one. I may step down again, but again I see the same old world, not with, without continuity. Suppose I go from the waking state to samadhi sthiti, even the Savikalpa Samadhi, this world is totally absent. When I come back to this world, I don't see the world anymore, which I was seeing. I see, see a new world of divine. And this divine, when I go to second time to Samadhi Siddhi and come down, is another change. The world which I was seeing divine, Divine is changing its colors. Just like world changes its colors, the divine also changes. Same world, same divinity, there is a greater change. Each time I come down, I see a new color of the same thing. Each time I go up, I see a color of another type. This world is totally absent when I go to Samadhi, but when I come down, this world is there, but not of it. This changes, we see new things happening in our lives. So this is Maya covering. How to get rid of this Maya and see the truth standing behind. Keeping aside the maya, you see the truth. Let me tell you a very secret experience. Once I had entered the wood near the pine grove and was sitting there when I had a vision of something like a hidden door of a chamber. I could not see inside the chamber. I tried to bore a hole in the door with a nail knife, but did not succeed. As I bored, the earth fell back into the hole and filled. I suddenly made a very big opening. Uttering these words, Master remained silent. After time, he said, these are very profound words. I feel as if someone is pressing my mouth. I have seen with my own eyes God dwells even in the sexual organ. I saw him once in sexual intercourse of a dog and a bitch. 
the universe is consciousness on account of consciousness of god sometimes i find that this consciousness wriggles about as it were even in small fish we will go back to the sentence the paragraph uttering these word uh, let me tell us very secret experience once i had entered the wood near the pine grove in those days the whole thing like in our childhood days the bangalore was full of trees and uh, it was looking like forest when we came here also all round was evergreen forest when we began the ashrama here also now also we have forest around may not be so thick as we came 20 years back to make a living here but still we have the forest around we can enter sometime into these woods pine grove is the last portion of the uh, dakshineshwar temple area of the rani rasmani this is where the people used to go to attend to the nature's call and beyond is the wood now also if we see around especially in drone and all you see thick forest around only one small area is there afterwards it is forest and forest belong to the government no human existence beyond the few kilometers from the river on the other side it is thick for him he goes into the wood hmm sitting there hmm i had a vision like hidden door of a chamber a chamber is there there is a hidden door i could not see the inside of the chamber i try to bore a hole in the door with a nail knife nail knife is a small knife here but did not succeed see this whole thing is a vision i had a vision of something like a hidden door of a chamber i could not see inside the chamber i try to bore a hole in the door with a nail knife but did not succeed as i bored the earth fell back into the hole and filled it he is boring and getting covered then i suddenly made a very big opening uttering these words the master remained silent what happened when he bored a bigger hole what did he see on the other side what was there in the chamber god alone knows but there was a reality which he is not able to express it is beyond words what he saw is beyond words it is just like we enter into meditation and go deep inside we cross the annamaya kosha we cross the pranamaya kosha when the sound external sounds everything ends we enter the realm of mind where the external world is absent already passing the sheet of prana pranamaya kosha the whole external all senses become silent i can't hear any more the external sound as a then i enter into the realm of mind where i am mind just like when i come to the bodily level i am body when i enter into sleep when i because i am unaware of the body when i come to the body level i say i am body when i sleep i separate totally from the body but when i wake up i identify and say i am body i don't say i am pervading the body 
I am living in the body. Never. I am body. Like that, when I enter into Manomaya Kosha, I am mind. I am mind. In me, something is happening. A thought is appearing and going within me. Just like a thought, a um, something, a wind blows, my cloth is shaking. Or I get, uh, when I eat, drink water, I see water is flowing within me. Especially cold water, if I take, I can perceive the water flowing. Like that, in me, the thoughts are coming and going. One by one thought, I can, it is happening within me. I know intimately what mind is when I enter into Manomaya Kosha. Till then, it is an objective understanding. However, we, I may, the amount of psychology I may study, I don't know what is mind. When I enter into Vijnana Maya Kosha, I know what is mind. Because I am mind. So, this much of difference. Now, from there, I enter, I want to get inside. I am searching for the door. I know there is a chamber within. I go on knocking. I don't know what is inside. I don't know how to enter. I go around here and there. I go to the maximum depth I can go. Through the mind, being one with the intellect that over, uh, tra- crosses over the, even the mind. As I identify with the intellect, and start moving within the mind, then I see slowly a door is there. I go to the depth. Next, I don't know how to enter that door, the tenth door to perfection. Go on knocking and coming. We know one day it will open. So, this Opening, what is there we will not know. We come back from that state of meditation. Till then it is meditation, dhyana. After losing external awareness, till I move towards the, my own inner existence, till the door of that chamber within. This transit that from the, I am going within, is, I am not aware of the external world. I am going within, sinking within, reaching the door. Till then, I understand my movement. But what is there inside, I, know, I don't know. This is meditation. From the, I lose my external, it is, I am trying to enter into meditation, is outside the body, I enter the body, Annamaya Kosha, I transcend also, I can hear the external sound. Then I am doing dharana only, not dhyana, I don't enter. And once I enter dhyana, all the external sounds stop away. People coming, going, nothing I know anymore. When I cross the Annamaya also, I can hear people talking around. When I cross the pranamaya, all stops. From pranamaya, it is dhyana, up to the door of the inner chamber. It is dhyana. Entering that, we come to another level, the samadhi. Samadhi is entering into Vijnana Maya Kosha. There we see a clear differentiation. The Hridaya Guha, what they call. How we enter, how the door opens one day. We enter the inner chamber and it is a funnel. As we go ahead, we are entering toward, moving towards the infinity. At one level, we cross that also. The 
self knowledge ends with the knowledge of the brahman the infinite existence how we go inside small interest like that's called hridaya guha the cave of a heart and then it we move towards the infinite opening fully opening into the infinite so this is what we actually experience ishram krishna is telling about a similar thing we can just at least understand what sri ram krishna might have seen when he bored a larger hole in the woods vision of the woods om shanti 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 hi hari hi om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu